Hello everyone, welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to see about how to do a mat operator or mat operation in this video. In last video, uh, we saw like uh, how to do uh, basically in a string. Okay, so if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe and let's get started. So as a reminder, this is my HTML and I gave the name as index.html. I have a starting HTML and this is the end, so end tag. Uh, and there is a head and inside the head I have a title and I provided name as a hello world okay and if you want to check so okay there is another thing and uh, if you want to see in a you know uh, any browser so how are you going to do right click on that one and there is a two option over here one is open in default browser it depends on you like what your default browser is or uh, whatever you set and if you don't like you can choose the open in other browser and where you can select however what i'm going to do i'm going to do with uh, open with my live server and if you don't know how to do it uh, please check on uh, my first video tutorial that's where i display i basically select uh, one of my extension okay so right now there is nothing in a body tag so that's where i'm going to write my javascript code so i would say script so starting point and ending point and inside the script tag I'm going to write my code so since we are doing the math operation so let's start so let num 0 equal to 5 so that's how you're going to declare uh, your variable okay let me copy it out and num 1 is equal to 10 so I do have two variables so now what I can do I can add both number right so I, I can say let add equal to here I can do 5 plus 10 also right and I can do console uh, let's do one thing like uh, since in last two video we saw about like in a console this time we're going to write in a HTML okay so I'm going to say document document dot document dot write and I'm going to pass add and semicolon is not mandatory but uh, I'm doing that work for practice so uh, if you want to do in other language that's going to help you okay and here is a 15 that's the beauty of the live server you I don't have to do refresh and that's the reason I'm using that live server so that is the uh, basically that added however instead of 5 and 10 I'm going to do number 0 so num 0 and plus num 1 and now result would be the same as you can see 15 or you can do refresh just in case you don't have to do actually refresh so why I change it to num 0 and num 1 so let's say in tomorrow you want to uh, add 15 plus 10 right so now you have to change only this place you don't have to worry about any other place right so uh, if you have like uh, basically uh, write this code or, or if you want to utilize a same variable like lot of places you have to change everywhere you have to find and change that's the reason uh, you already stored in your label or variable right then why don't we use it and let's see and it says 25 okay so that's another thing so now as soon as we did add and now we're going to do with uh, subtraction okay so again let this time say sub 0 equal to 10 let sub 1 equal to 5 okay so we store that our two um, values in that variable 
So now what I want to do, I want to subtract, right? So again, I am going to create a one variable and I would say sub equal to now what I did in the previous, that's what I'm same thing I'm going to do. So sub not done, sub zero minus sub one and same thing document dot write. So that's going to write in our HTML. So and I'm sub here. Okay. So guys, just a recap. I already stored value of the 10 in a variable called sub zero. Value of five I stored in a sub one. So what I'm going to do sub zero minus sub one. So it's like 10 minus five. And, and you can see that uh, the dot, it means I didn't save. So um, control S. So now it's saved, okay. And when I go back and check, it's 255. Why is 255? Because it added. So let me uh, comment out. And now if I see, so five. And if I want to change the value, so let's say 20. And now it's 15, okay. So that's what you're going to do. Uh, now we want to do uh, division. So let's do let two zero equal to ten semicolon, and uh, you don't need to do actually semicolon, but it's for a better practice. That's what I'm every time I'm doing. You know, and let me give some space here. Let two one equal to Five. Let t equal to div zero divided by d one. Okay, and let me copy this. And I'm going to specify T. And I'm going to comment out this one. And for comment, control slash. Control S. And I'm going to see it's 2. If you want to change to 20, control S. And now it's 4. Okay. Uh, another thing, what you can do, and now we're going to concat. So basically, we provide us some string inside also. So here, either single invited comma or double invited comma, but I'm doing a double invited comma. Division of two number is space and plus. So basically, it's called concat. So it's, and you can see, and control s and now here is the division of two number is four okay now let's do multiplication let zero equal to five let one equal to 2 let equal to some small 0 times times uh, you're going to declare that as a star okay so my 0 times and we need to print so I'm going to say document dot write and instead of div I would say and I'm going to 
comment it out okay control s and it's not division it's a multiplication so okay so multiplication of two number is 10 right 5 times 2 is 10 and now I see it's 15 here so now it should be 30 as you can see it's 30 okay so that's how you're going to do uh, so basically multiplication addition and subtraction uh, this is not the right way or good way but uh, as I mentioned earlier also we're going to start a crawling then walking and then we start running and maybe after we're going to fly so anyway uh, if you like my video please uh, like share and subscribe and we will see you next video with a cool thing okay bye bye